I'm starving and I'm about to treat myself to some really gross food that I've never tried before from different countries. So let's see how this goes. Hey guys, it's Alyssa and I'm here with a new video. So I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this and I wanted to do it myself. So I got a bunch of different food from Europe and Australia and I'm gonna be trying it. I've never tried these foods before. I've heard of them and like I just kind of went to my world market and I got a bunch of, I don't know, foreign food. So um, yeah, we're gonna try that right now and let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I have, or I made, is some Yorkshire tea. Now that's the box. Louie drinks Yorkshire tea, so I wanted to try it. If you don't know what it looks like, this is what the tea bag looks like. Um, it smells good, like it smells really good. It's a uh, Yorkshire Gold Black Tea. Can't see it because I will spill it. But that's the tea. It's like, oh, I did spill it. <laughs> okay, it's not like bad, but like I live in America, so I did not grow up drinking tea and it's just really weird. Now if you want to drink it how I'm drinking it, I added sugar and honey to it because without it, it tastes really gross. So like I have no idea how Louis drinks his tea with no sugar, like is he out of his mind? It is so gross. But this is not that bad. Okay, maybe it's a little bad. <laughs> Next item I have to try are called Hobnobs. This is the Hobnob guys, this is what the container looks like, yeah, I don't know. They're milk chocolate. I don't know what they look like. I don't know what they are, but I heard that's like a Harry likes hobnobs. So, um, Harry, I'm kind of counting on you for this to be good so I don't throw up. Just open. Oh, they're like cookies. Here it is. This is a hobnob. I don't really know what it is. It says it's milk chocolate. It's like a cookie. So we're gonna try it. Okay. It smells good. Oh, that's how it smells like peanut butter. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh girl. Oh. When you bite it, it gets about seven different tastes before it tastes good when I swallowed it. You bite it and it tastes like a graham cracker. But then you like chew it more and it starts to taste kind of like a Kit Kat and then you get the chocolate in your mouth and you start to taste the chocolate and then when you finally swallow it, it starts tasting like a good like graham cracker with chocolate. Next item I got from the store are called Aero Bubbles. Okay, um, it's a candy, I guess, chocolate and vanilla, I don't really know. But it says you feel the bubbles when you bite into them, and I don't know how I feel about that. Taste the bubbles. I don't know how I feel about tasting these bubbles, okay? I don't... I like can't... Oh my god. What is this? Look at it. It's like... It looks like a Pokemon. Like, I'm about to eat a Pokemon, guys. Oh, oh, I'm scared. I am scared. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, ew. What is it? Oh my god, literally. Okay, you taste the chocolate. And then like the bubbles, it's like, it's like crunchy, like spongy stuff. I don't even know, that was weird. Oh. Look what I just ate. Look at this. I don't know if it'll focus, but like, look at that. What? The next food I have is, oh god, it's a European biscuit. I don't know how to pronounce it. Delisje. Delisje. I don't, not European. I don't know. I really wanted to try Jaffa cakes, but unfortunately I couldn't find Jaffa cakes. So I mean, this is close to one. It's the package. That's the European biscuit. I guess it's like filled with like 
raspberry. So let's see how it goes, shall we? I'm gonna take this one from the middle. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. So this is what I'm eating. The uh, cheap version of a Jaffa cake. Okay, it's got like a little like bump on it. I don't know if you can see it, but like. Okay, ready? Here we go. God, no. It smells so good though. Oh girl. Oh. Oh, look at this. It won't even separate. Girl, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright guys, the last and final food I have, which is really freaking scary. It's something I've wanted to try for like three years now, and like I'm finally getting the guts to do it, <laughs> but I'm really freaking scared. I wasn't allowed to do One Direction because it's not even from the UK like all those other foods were, but it's Vegemite. Yeah, guys, Vegemite, like, this is the real deal Vegemite that Five Sauce are like obsessed with, and I don't know why. It's yeast extract, and if you don't know what yeast is, it's something they put in beer. Now, I'm a child, and I've never drinking beer. Um, I hate the smell of alcohol, so I really hope this isn't like that. Oh, what the fuck is this? It's like, hard, guys. Literally, I thought this was, oh. It smells like dog food. It literally smells like dog food. I've heard of Vegemite that you're supposed to put it on bread, and I don't know, I'm really scared. Oh, it's like chocolate. Oh no, girl. Oh, here's what it looks like. It looks like someone shit on my bread. Three, two, one. So after this journey in my world market foods, I am like done and I'm stuffed and disgusted. That was my video of me trying gross foods. If you liked it, give this a thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you've ever tried any of these foods and tell me how it went because it didn't go very good for me. I only like the hobnobs, so I'm about to go eat those right now. Louis Thompson loves you and I love you too and I love hobnobs because they're freaking good. But okay, bye guys.